cut me open. Happy Thanksgiving. I, uh, there is. <laughs> <laughs> Your balls are your are man jugs. Because you know right. like the tits are like, oh, you got some jugs, bitch. Or <laughs> okay. are breasts female balls breasts relocated? Are, is that better? Breasts are Boop female sack. balls? So when you're sucking tits. You sucking balls. You're sucking balls. You're hey, sucking 2020, baby, balls. baby, suck whatever you want, baby. Right, it doesn't even matter. What's you're, the weirdest thing you've sucked? Don't answer that. All what right. do you uh, mean? Well, well, honestly, we, we both have sucked weird things. You know why? Because we both sucked our own mom's tits. That's fucking weird. <laughs> That's weird to think yeah, about. I don't know. What we does it feel like? Soy milk out of our own Was mom's soy? tits. Is it dairy free? No, I think it's loaded with dairy. Is it? Di- well, what is? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Is it Carnation Instant Breakfast? What the fuck Dude, is coming out of your mom's tits? I don't know. Like love, oat milk, little little bit of a chow bonnie, just melted up in there. You like chow bonnie? I, I love me some chow bonnie. Is chow bonnie Greek yogurt? Chow bonnie is Greek yogurt, but it, it, but it's got that uh, it's got that consistency of like cement, thick. you know, and it's like it like it like. You just feel manly drinking. It's pretty. It's pretty thick. What comes out of your mom's tits? What is it? Can you Google? Can dairy, you go- dude, it's, <laughs> it's dairy. It's dairy. It's dairy. Dairy yeah, is anything. Bro. Game anything is so that lucky. comes out of a anything that comes out of a mammal. That's so crazy to also call your mom a mammal. What's up, little mammal ass bitch? Well, you're, you can't say bitch. You're a mammal. I'm a mammal. Yeah. See, when I think of mammals, I I think of sea lions, or what's the manatees. Manatees? Manatees. No one knows the difference. Manatee. Manatee is a sea lion. A manatee is not a mammal, though, is it? What the fuck is a manatee? A manatee is like an android sea lion. No, a manatee is a fat ass seal. Oh, a manatee. What are you thinking about? Like a stingray? No, wait, a wait. A stingray? Yeah, I'm wrong. It's I know what you're talking about now. That's the dumbest thing you ever said yeah. in the podcast. <laughs> Damn. Um. Yeah. So yeah. Say, saying you're a mammal is weird as fuck. Saying you're like like related to like a like a like a primate is weird as shit. We're we're like we're like in the like we're like a bonobo. Yeah. That's fucking weird. It really is. Like we're like a step away from a, a like a whole ass ape. A manatee is a mammal. Okay. They call them the cows of the sea. Ah. Oh those those oh they those guys floating. They just out here. The cows of the sea. Do they? They have don't milk? even know they're alive, bro. It's just like it's like if you put a drunk friend on a river raft, and that and that river raft just floated. That's them. Those are the most fun things ever to get fucked up on the river. Oh, oh. I almost died once doing that in well, Chico, California. I need that which story makes sense. Uh, so Chico, Chico State University, it's just an f- insane party school, and like three of my best friends went there, and I would go to visit them, and they had this thing called the float, and you pretty much that's what you do. They have a giant river, and you just get hammered on a river. But here's the thing. When you're you're on an inner tube, you're sitting. You know when you've had a couple drinks and you go to stand up and you're like, what? and yes. you just get that instant blackout? <clears throat> uh-huh. You don't know how much how drunk you are because you're just sitting, you're peeing, you're farting, you're shitting, you're a little baby on the river, you know? Yeah. You got nothing to worry about. All your bladder is just shooting off. And then at the end of this like three-hour float, I'm hammered. My friend goes, "You got we got to swim in. The shore's over there. It just goes straight, but the veer off is to the left. That's where everybody like keeps partying. Yeah. I just couldn't swim. I was like, yo, this... Sh- <laughs> Oh, and I just you like couldn't. forgot. I I just like I was unresponsive. Like like my what eyes. Do you were, mean? My eyes were open, but I was just like I just. It was like he was speaking in subtitles that I couldn't read. I was just like yeah, woo, and and I like he's like you got to swim faster, and I was just like doing a very half ass thing and then he like grabs me like swims me into shore my buddy alex legit i'm very confident he saved my life then we get to the shore and i go to stand up i couldn't even stand up i lost my sandals in there and his bunch of rocks up front he gives me his shoes what this is motherfucking bear grills uh the millennial version he gives you his shoes he gave me his shoes so i could wear them on the beach because i was too hammered to like st- like all the rocks like were just yeah. throwing my balance off and i was just kept falling this guy's a hero a hero what does yeah. he do now you have uh, an idea? He's what? an accountant. He works at AutoZone or something. Yeah, he's an accountant. Yeah, he's an accountant, dude. What a what a legend. Yeah, but if Holy you ever need shit. to be saved in the river, just hit up my buddy. And uh, so he like, and then we like didn't know how to get back. Obviously, you don't bring phones with you. You just go on this river. Yeah. And this was probably like four years ago. And then we just hopped in the back of some random people's like party people's truck, and we like got back. I don't know how the fuck. I don't know how I made it home that day. Jesus, man. You like yeah, I mean you for real almost passed but away they in stopped, a river. They, yeah, they stopped doing that float because so many people had had tragic accidents like that. What? It's not a thing anymore. Well, dude, it's like think about the landscape of this. Yeah. It's like 
unlimited alcohol. Everybody's bringing their, their, it's called the Chico flow. Everybody has like their floaties. They bring their coolers and uh, you don't, you can't gauge how drunk you are when you're just floating in the water, you know? It is. I, I wonder what that is. Your body gets used to like in a seated position. So then, and then when you stand up, you're like blood pressure increases or some shit. Yeah, like, why are you more drunk when you're, when you're standing so your up? Your body just beer bongs it all to your legs. And it's like, blah, dude, blah, 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 I don't I think it's that far. I don't think that's far off. It's just all in your gut and shoots down. I don't know, but like I couldn't swim in and it it's it was very distinct. I remember like the last second. Well, this is off. Yeah, I remember like where like you had to turn in to the shore where everybody was, but after that it kind of just kept going straight. And it was just like Where does it go after that? Like just down an a infinity waterfall? logo. Just man, I don't fucking know. It just Dog. it just goes. It's, it it's terrifying. It's isn't scary. Isn't it funny that like all movies when they have that scene where they go, Oh no, we missed the turn off, and it's always this gigantic ass waterfall. Every time, every oh, movie, yeah. oh yeah, man. every goddamn river, it's hilarious. But I don't we, know how we got on that topic. But what were we talking about before? Oh, fucking the first coffee of the day, dog. Oh yeah, first coffee of the day. Fuck, that little sexy bitch. I'm out here. Well, I we were talking about it earlier because there's people that are like, I don't do coffee. It, uh, it tastes all gross. We don't do it for the taste. Who does it for the taste? I do it so I can just tolerate my own damn self. Yeah, you do it to become an adult. You ever try to do a day with no coffee? Fuck the world. Dude, it's so fucked that you, you get a headache if you don't have it. Your body's like, we need it. Come on. It, it's, it's the only drug where everyone's like, we're all addicted. Yeah. And everyone goes, yeah. And everyone goes, all right, well, let's continue. Yeah. But when people call coffee a drug, I'm like, all right, you've never been to a frat party, have you? True. <laughs> Fucking Somebody, true. I don't, I don't know. It's just like, it is in a sense because it's an addicting thing. It's a drug, bro. Caffeine is a drug. I think it's schedule depends. one drug. I don't know. That's I think it depends wrong. on how you take it. Like, you know, those motherfuckers that are like, yeah, I just pop caffeine pills. I'm like, all right, you prefer PCP, but the stock market was a little too high for that today. <laughs> and CVS happened to have your little fucking jitter. You ever had a caffeine pill? Yes. I don't I have, feel normal. I'm I, like, I feel like I should be like stealing like hubcaps or just like the little, the spokes on a, like a bicycle. Yeah. My whole, I feel like I'm doing spins, but I'm standing up. Yeah. I feel like I'm doing backflips. It's like Adderall without the focus. You just, you want to go forward. You ever have like a, like a really low, low uh, percentage of alcohol in like a drink and you're like, I think I might be drunk. That's what it is yeah. like Adderall to well, catch. Well, that was like the first comparison. time I ever tried like anything CBD. I was like, oh, am I so chilled out or am I just well rested? You I, love, know? I love when you try to force it. I love oh, when you yeah. like take an edible and you're like, I'm fucking hot. And you're like, no, you're, I'm, 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 I don't think I am. It's like a nibble of a shroom. Just see where I'm at. Well, that was like at, at uh, what was it, EDC? Somebody's like, you got a microdose acid. And I was terrified. I was like, I don't, microdose? No. That, that's too many scientific words I can't spell. I tried to take acid in Australia and it was in like a little gummy and me and my boy were so fucking scared that we just split it. Yeah. And it didn't do anything. Yeah. I mean, you spl I mean, I don't know how much was in the gummy, but like not enough to split it. I think you had to take at least like two or three gummies to feel anything. Yeah. Any shit. Did you regret not taking a full gummy? Yes. Yeah, that's the like, annoying if, part. If you're gonna do it, do it, do it. And you're on a, in Australia, yeah, but dude, I mean, there were, I mean, a I koala to, on acid. Come on, now, you know koalas are always high. They eucalyptus. Yeah, eucalyptus make them high as fuck. Eucalyptus smells amazing. You ever been in a spa that has that shit? Oh my! That's the God. only reason I'd ever go to an Equinox gym. Equinox, the weight, the the shit you use to work out is all the same. It's trash. It's all the same. It's all the same. But what, you know what? What is it going to jerk me off while I'm doing squats? That'd be nice. That would be so nice. Yeah, well, you, but you would lose bones. focus so quickly. You would go to sleep. There'd be so many people just asleep. You would just go do like one lunge. Your dick's in. You're like, all right. <laughs> I'm good here. So the Winter Mormons are so buff. Anyways, docking. Moving on. Boom. Uh, docking. Uh, but yeah, all the nicest shit you realize about Equinox isn't the workout shit. It's just the spa and like the, the they have a eucalyptus sauna eucalyptus sauna they also have uh you come out that bitch marinated whoop, whoop. somebody better take a bite out of this eucalyptus ass chest, bitch. i'm moist as shit I'm cut moist. me open happy thanksgiving i uh there is <laughs> <laughs> happy thanksgiving huh Who better somebody better butter up this goddamn turkey and where's my stuff and stuff it back in you know you that you stuff stuffing in a turkey's asshole or is that his head <laughs> You know when you put it's this got to be the asshole. Is it, it is the, the asshole? asshole? Well, it's it's You're straight fisting a turkey. It's more than the asshole. You think they just walk around with a foot an asshole the size of like a Pee Wee League football? Maybe. That's why I think it's maybe the head. I think they they take the they take the head. It doesn't, the, doesn't look like the head. 
Oh, because yeah. so it's you, too. Oh, the wings wow. are facing forward on it. It's, it's yeah. the back. It's the caboose. For oh, sure. you're right. Oh, wow. Yeah, the wings point in the direction. Has anyone thought about that? What? Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. You're cutting into a turkey. Two hours ago, you were fisting it full of stuffing. I'll tell you what. Okay. You, you, you know, you got to butter up the, the turkey. What if you butter up your hand? Easy uh, access. <laughs> God damn. Oh, speaking of goddamn. Oh, yeah. Motherfucking goddamn. Um, God. All right. So if you're watching this on YouTube, which uh, we love both people who watch audio and vi- visual. So many people do. Um, we have goddamn hoodies. We have like, goddamn hoodies. I, was, I really didn't sell that. We have goddamn hoodies. We have goddamn and hoodies. And here's the, the, the thing. All right, we released them on Patreon uh, on Sunday. Them things sold the goddamn out. There's none left. And you sold out. So none. what we did, it was like, oh, goddamn, people want the goddamn merch. So we're, we're going to put the, the link for the Apple and Spotify in the description, as well as YouTube will be in the uh, description. The link uh, for the hoodies will be in. Yeah. So what we're doing is we're just, we didn't know y'all really fuck with the goddamn movement. Stop sharing. <laughs> My dick spilled on the ground. I need some paper towels. Goddamn coronavirus. Oh, God. I done nutted in my goddamn hoodie again. That's not a, what the, What do you mean it's not a hoodie? And that's a Snuggie? <laughs> well, I done nutted in the Snuggie. Is there a better thing to nut on than a Snuggie? Probably. No. Th- <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Is there though? Probably. Is there is there something more depressing than wearing a hoodie at 6 p.m.? Nope. What? what? Huh? Wearing a hoodie at 6 p.m.? I'm sorry. Snuggie at 6 p.m. There's uh, you wearing see the a... motherfuckers at the airport in a Snuggie? Kill yourself. <laughs> you have an hour flight. All right. Yeah. That's how cozy you want to get. Remember the guy on the flight uh, this weekend? He was just laying down across I hated all... I hated him so much. I, you Okay. <laughs> He's the, the, laying across all three rows. There wasn't a lot of people on the flight. Okay, fine. Fine. Come back from OKC. Okay, fine. This guy took all three and then just laid out with his... You, dude. You understand what you're laying on? You're just laying on marinated farts. No eucalyptus. You're just laying on shit vape. And his... Is that a fart? Is this a shit vape? Hold the gosh darn phone. Hold the goddamn phone because your goddamn hoodie now. Oh, get a goddamn hoodie. Oh, I think it is. And first of all, the goddamn hoodies are all hand-stitched embroidered. Hand-stitched. And, embroidered. and, it's, got, and it's got the, uh, the, the logo... On the on the damn wrist. On the goddamn you wrist. You check your wrist and it's a goddamn. You check your left wrist and it's another. Well, it's a watch probably. Yeah, it's a watch. But, but, but this guy was laying face down and Oof. he like he was one of those guys who like needs to buy a bigger shirt because you could just see the mm-hmm. little the little muff. Oh shit! <laughs> you almost just you almost just throw up. <laughs> uh, maybe I don't know, dude. I don't, I don't feel well. Uh, but this guy had like his little muffin top showing, and he yeah. had one leg laid. F- extended and mm-hmm. one was over kind of how my leg is right now like he was just so comfortable i was like first of all there's way too much turbulence for you to be comfortable second of all you're just what that's not comfortable yeah you're- also hey man you probably have kids i don't like this behavior you're yeah. you're a full adult you, you you can't do this you can't be just scrolled out or sprawled out scrolled out i don't he know was a little scrolled out he was like, scrolled like out. if it was a picture on a phone and you scrolled it out a little that was him they used to have scrolls Oh, they read what? off of <laughs> what? Like this shit? Just have a you piece have of paper. You have to open it with like, like, like. You have to do it quickly. Yeah, so you got to do it like this. Yeah, you with can't. Both open hands up so- going up and down. And you there's got to be some dust coming off it. Yeah. What do Everyone you wrote in calligraphy. Scroll? What? What do you even put on a scroll? Calligraphy. What is calligraphy? Well, the the loop to loop language. Oh, the motherfuckers that like. It's not cursive. One it's letter just... looks all nice. Yeah, and it's just a whole. It's like it's like sexy ass cursive. It's cur- It's cursive on a roller coaster. Damn. It's like whew. you think people used to like get that action based on their penmanship. I think people still fuck off penmanship. Oh yeah, they're yeah. like, oh Arthur got that. Uh, you see the A in his Arthur. Fuck. <laughs> oh no, man. Um, yes. Why I, does every girl in the world have the same writing? You know what I'm it, talking about with the S's? Yes. The certain type of S. It's Every so girl good. writes like that, and I'm just jealous. I think that's what it is. I'm jealous because uh, I, I write like I'm constantly being chased by somebody. It's just like, yeah, here yeah. you go. I write like I'm Michael J. Fox. That's how I write. <laughs> <laughs> you know how they have those animals that are like, they put a toothbrush in their mouth, and they're like, look at Jeffrey the giraffe painted something. That's how I write. Like, it looked like I oh had a God. big pen in my mouth and just had my hands tied up behind my back, and they're like, you're, be- you're bobbing for apples. I'm like, Oh yeah, and like just kidding. Here's a pen and a piece of paper, and I'm like, what? First, first of all, 
Those paintings from giraffes and and, and elephants, trash. They're, they're never good. They're never good. They're fucking <laughs> it's, awful. Well, well, it's just because they're doing a uh, a human thing as a well, it's a mammal, a mammal. All right, it's just because they're doing a human thing, but as an animal. But bro, I fucking all shit outside. Nobody's clapping for me. Maybe. Uh, probably. I clap. If you go outside and shit on a, a Papa John's box, I'll 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 give it up for you. I'm like, ooh, get him. But people buy those goddamn elephant paintings and they hang them up. And the only reason they buy them is so when Ronald comes over with his wife and he's like, <laughs> an elephant painted that. Shut up, Ronald. Oh, it's just a flex. It's just a flex. Yeah. Yeah. If you, yeah. I mean, because those can't be cheap. Also, do they give any money to the elephant? No. No. Straight rob them. People are robbing them. You think animals at SeaWorld know that they're, they've made it? No. Do you think they're getting caked out in cash? No. Do they party on the weekends? Do they take antidepressants? Are they hopped up off of caf- caffeine pills? Mm-mm. No. But they take antidepressants. Those goddamn animals are not happy. They're not. That's pretty sad, man. I remember seeing polar bears at the San Diego Zoo, and I was like, "Y'all need to be freed." Also, why are you guys brown? Yeah, they were, dude. They just weren't. I don't know. I think Coca Cola really fucked it up for everybody because they thought it was like this, like this cocaine white little cowboy looking ass polar bear. Mm-mm. They look like normal bears. They look like they done rolled around in a ton of dirt. They look like creme brulee bears. They're huge though. They're massive. How big are they, Dick? Uh, <laughs> Gabe, how big can you Google how, how, how big an average polar bear penis is? Because I think they got it. Because there's also, there's a ton of animals that are really, really big, but they got little tiny peepees. Really? Wait, ask me again how big a polar bear penis is. How big a polar bear penis? Enough to break the ice. Oh, there oh, it is. Oh, okay, Gabriel. You're and fired. by ice, you mean the polar bear's pelvis. God damn, they be <laughs> fucking... Uh, about 7.3 inches, man. They're not really packing the heat. Oh, wow. dude, I, I was listening to the, uh, um, I'm reading this uh, anthropology book, and they're talking about, like, in terms of mammals, like, we have the biggest dicks by far. Like, per, like, how how size, like, how what big are we, are we fucking are? comparing it to a chipmunk out there? No, dude, big. You look how big a polar bear. A polar bear's goddamn 15 feet high. only got a 7-inch dick. It's kind of small. If you're 15 feet high, a human? I'm suddenly not as scared, you know? I know they can't understand English, but if a polar bear came at me, and be like, get your seven-inch dick out of here. I know, but I he wish... He hears it. that, he's like, oh, man, come on, bro. I Touch wish me. I had a seven-inch dick. <laughs> I'd become a polar bear. I think, okay, I think... What if it was that easy? I think... Manatees, uh, though, 15 inches. Really? What? Yeah. That's why they're the fucking... That's why they're so, like, confident. See. You ever just see them just cruising through the ocean? They got that big dick energy. Yeah. They just shit and then just keep floating next They've, to their shit. They don't care. They're just out here living because they got that fucking 15-inch dick. If you have a 15-inch dick, you don't need a job. No. You just... I mean, what do you do? What do you do? You walk around the streets? You just go to a mall and be like, y'all ever seen a 15-inch dick before? They just Venmo you. You can't... Also, why does it not like when you see the manatees at SeaWorld? That's number one thing you gotta lead with. Don't be like they're found on the coast of blah blah. blah. <laughs> no, up front, like manatees packing that man. You see, bow, fifteen inch cock. F- Come on, I don't care what the fuck how many times they mate per year. Actually, I do care about that. Yeah, I'd like I'd watch that. Man, how do, how do you ever wonder how animals like do it without like floating away in the ocean? Oh wow, how like because we you know it's like. Obviously, we ain't moving. Like, imagine banging in space. How do you do that? Carefully. Yeah, but how do manatees just dock? How I mean, do they do, pull up? Well, they're not always well, they floating. They got a 15-inch dick. They just... Yeah, I think they just... What do you mean they're not always floating? What do you mean? They can, they can swim. It's not like they're just floating with no with no ability to, like, have movement or, like, any... You know, they, I don't they know, can swim. Man. You think they can just, like, coast up, Listen, like, drop man, you, the anchor? You put, you put Michelle the manatee against that coral. You put her against that coral for a little bit of friction... You could give her that 15 no pipe. Pipe. Yeah, but coral, you don't want to be fucking on coral. <sighs> yeah, you ever, you ever, dude, I fucked my knee up. I landed on coral one time. God, it's dude, brutal. 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 Dude. I remember uh, when I was snorkeling in Hawaii, I saw I was like right under me and I felt like I was fucking, like had all those red lasers in the museum under me. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. don't touch the coral. And also people were like, don't fuck up the coral. All right, well, don't have coral be so sharp. Huh? Also, we don't, who, what, we don't need the coral. <laughs> There's so many things like we need to protect. Why? I don't. I don't. The what is coral. This, what is this? The do reefs. For us? Dude, speaking Speak of, pro- yo, well, go ahead. No, what are you saying? I was just gonna say people are buying toilet paper and there's none in LA and I'm scared. That's what I was just oh, gonna I was say. just gonna say I'm going to Hawaii uh, <laughs> later on. What? Like, that's fine. Yeah, me and my dad are going, and then I'm also doing a, a show out there in August. No. The tickets haven't been released yet, but I think it's August 21st at the Blue Lounge in Waikiki. Schultz just did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
You're gonna go to Hawaii with your dad. Go to Hawaii. Me and my dad are just going just on some just on some fun shit. You know. What are you guys gonna do? I don't know. Coral reef hunting? Probably. Is that even a Probably thing? Probably look for manatees and compare dicks or something. Dude. I don't know. Hawaii's just dope because like I've never been out. It's like so funny because like you can just say like it's Hawaii time and be blacked out at like, I don't know, like two thirty PM and people are like, It is Hawaii time. Like there's zero expectations out there. What did, what was that? That was a fly. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I no, thought no, no. I thought you had like a little stroke. No, I had a caffeine pill. I'm seeing monsters in front of me. Oh my gosh! No, I don't know. I'm, I love Hawaii. I haven't been in like ten years, but you've been just... before. Yeah, have you? you? Fucking wealthy bitch. You never been? No, nah, I've never been to Hawaii. That goddamn plane ride. Fuck that place. The plane ride is. Uh, I mean, the plane ride is 19 hours. That's the only plane shit. ride where I very carefully listen to. Uh, if the sudden plane and the face mask comes down, I'm like, hold on, y'all shut the fuck up. I need to hear this. Oh, because it's just too long. Life jackets. Well, it's all over water. They should just say, listen, if we have engine problems, everyone's dead. Guys, enjoy the flight. Yeah, but uh, we're a, dead. Everyone's a, dead. There's a little hope where you're like, nope. how do I Titanic this bitch? No hope. We're I got an dead. iPhone 11. Y'all, y'all can't track this shit down. You ever hit the Pacific Ocean going fucking 800 miles an hour? <laughs> well, I, I would imagine. Dead. I would imagine they like coast into it. Nope, dead. <laughs> what <laughs> if I got a middle seat though? Well, oh, that's different. Guess. Yeah, because yeah, the, the side's taking the hit. The only way that you, if you get a middle seat and you're sitting next to two manatees and then you got, they kind of use them as like airbags. You use your fucking dicks as like life alarm or something. Life. <laughs> What's a life alarm? Life, life alert? alert? I want a life alert. I wouldn't mind having a life alert. That's so funny to order a life alert as like a person that doesn't need a life alert. Just press it. Hey, what's good, bro? <laughs> Can I get some pizza? Are you good there, Seymour? What? No, that's Trevor. I'm good. I'm straight, bro. Can I get some jam juice? I was like, I thought your life was on line. Well, I would love some jam juice right now. I had a smoothie this morning. I'll tell you what. Smoothies are great. I'm starving, bro. <laughs> podcast. I'm starving. Oh, we didn't say this. Also, guys, we have uh, goddamn hats, too. We've got them hats uh, on on that link as well in the shop, and also uh, and we, hats with the logo on. Yeah, you're wearing we have, it. Yeah, the hat that I'm wearing now we have we have uh, in the uh, store as well. Uh, so we didn't tell the you. Merch we is popping. It's fire. Like this, this is legit. I wore it to all the shows in Oklahoma. Fire. First of all, all the shows in Oklahoma City. Fire. Yeah. Bars. Gosh. Great. Amazing. I loved it. It was sick. We did five sold out shows and then yeah. added a brunch show. Michael uh, came through, blessed the stage with his. You already know. You already know what it is, bro. Best he yelled a for bunch. Cock. You opened one of the shows with who trying to suck. What did you say? I said on the brunch show. Brunch show. 1 p.m. Sunday. 1 p.m. Because Wild. It, was, it was National Women's Day. So okay. I go, hey, everyone. It's the first thing I said on stage. I go, hey, everyone. Happy National Women's Day. And then I said, who's trying to get their tits sucked? How did they respond? Well, there's about four people that wooed and everyone else left. Was it four dudes? <laughs> I think so. They're just like, yeah, what, who? Oh, no. Just a no, manatee but, in the corner. Woo! Just the manager. You're like, sir. <laughs> oh, no. No, that club was great. All the shows were fantastic. What do you think about Oklahoma? Dude, uh, I, I thought Oklahoma was fine. I There's no place I go to where I'm like, oh, man, that's different. Every place is the same to me. Yeah, because you, essentially you're always performing in a, the popular part of town. Yeah. Had our hotel been an hour deep, in Oklahoma, or we're out there like in the right. middle of like OKC and Tulsa and just some random little gray area. Yeah, then it's going to be different. For the most part, it's very normal. You don't really tell anything. Like, there were some people that were like straight up from like Oklahoma, Oklahoma. Yeah, motherfucker I, had overalls on. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. But I made fun of a dude wearing overalls for six minutes. I couldn't stop. Oh, the guy. Yeah, I remember him. He was so nice and jacked. Yeah, it's Can not you really, imagine fighting him? Like, yeah, what, bro, bro? Anybody in overalls is winning. All if right. you, on a Saturday night, you sit front row wearing overalls. Yeah, I remember that dude. You've been in fights before. Been in and looking for. And he's got a manatee dick, 100%. Oh, bro, you Pat. reincarnated manatee. The only time I realized I was in Oklahoma <laughs> was uh, when we got Mexican food out there. This shit was ass. Wow. That place had a line out the motherfucking door, bro. For ass Mexican food. You know, we take it for granted in California. Best Mexican food in the goddamn world. It's so it's good. It's insane. It's crazy. It's like, do Californians have a secret that they just don't yeah. know about? Yeah. We let in all of the Mexicans. Oh, yeah. They ain't trying to live in Oklahoma. No, I don't think. What, no. where, where's Mex? Well, actually, Mexico's not too far away from Oklahoma. If you think about it logically. I mean, there's a big ass state in between. Texas do yeah, be yeah. too do be, But it was wild. You know, it, it, it just... I mean, the Mexican food there was so bad it made me appreciate Chipotle, and that's saying something. Real talk, I love Chipotle. Though. Real talk, Chipotle shitted on that taco place. Oh yeah. Oh my god, the the tacos that I had, um, 
Oh, that's another thing we want to talk about. Tempura versus fried. What? Hey, everyone. Same thing. Is it though? Don't say don't say tempura. Your shit ain't fancy. Your shit ain't fancy. But what's the difference between a tempura and a chicken nugget? Well, one has chicken in it and one's just tempura. I think chicken nuggets Wait, are no, tempura. No, 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 no. Tempura is a, a, a type of batter that you deep fry and it gets all, it's more bubbly. I think the batter is the same. Maybe you nah, might have, maybe you might that. have a point where tempura is different than fried because it's, it's, it's more flaky. Yeah. But I'm willing to bet that tempura and regular fried, the batter is the same. Well, it is funny because people get tempura fried vegetables and they're like, oh, I'm healthy. It's a deep fried green bean. That's all it it's is. It's one green bean. But I think that's to my point. I think tempura and fried is damn near the same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, well, that's how you cook it is you fry it. But I think the batter is different. Is the batter different, Gabe? Are you looking it up? Yeah. Um, tempura is a light batter made from cold water and flour. Uh, and then ingredients dipped in the batter and then deep fried. So the batter is different. That's what separates. The them. batter is different. Yeah. It's like lighter and flakier. Tempura is hard though. That shit good. Tempura, yeah, it it just has a light little, a light little. Yeah, oof, oh, it's a little graze on the taste bud. A little tease of the little, little tease of the taste bud. Like, what's up, girl? <laughs> um. Anyway, I got tempura uh fish, fish tacos. tacos. I got tempura fish tacos, and gah, it wasn't gross. It wasn't gross. It was just like so. Re- it, it tasted like a McDonald's chicken, like a McDonald's fish fillet, on a taco. Well, okay. here's what I'll say to that. Well, why don't you give it to me? <laughs> What always does this for me, something messed it up for me is like I asked some guy like how like a, a fish or some seafood was in a random state when I was on the road. He goes, there's not an ocean around here for like right. 13 mi- or thirteen hour drives. What do you think? And that was his way of being like, bro, do not get that. It's always weird when you see like, like we asked for food recommendations in Oklahoma. And they're like, we got a really good sushi spot. It's like, where the fuck are y'all getting ahi out here? They got to fly that bitch in like it's on first class little thought. Are oh, we flying in some? Yo, we, we saw, flying in the yellowtail tonight. We flying in the. Ah, we saw two thoughts that were flown in from Oklahoma to LA on that one thought, plane. two thought. Uh, what, uh, you who, remember there, there was two different girls in first class that were getting flown over when we oh, were, when yeah. we were first class from, is, is hilarious. Well, there's so many that I go, okay, you're getting thrown, you're getting flown out, you're getting flown out. Also, how what do you do? Jesus, how are you in the first? Bro, first what if she take off her little Cinderella slipper and she got the feet of magnesia? A what magnesia. is magnesia? What is I'm, it? it just it came out. Magnesia? Milk of magnesia. I've heard that before. I've heard that as well. I oh, by the way, I just saw uh an episode of The Nick. It's a showtime show about like uh you know a, a hospital hospital in like the, the you know nineteen hundreds or whatever. And they were talking about the golden lotus. You know what that is? Sounds sexual. It is. The golden lotus is I I some this Asian dude on the show, a golden lotus is like a sexy oh. ass foot. Yeah, he's, like, he's like, I want the golden lotus in my mouth. So I'm going to start calling uh, women's feet golden lotuses. And they're going to start calling the FBI. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, so milk of magnesia sounds like it would be something, you know, like it cures, you know, whatever. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's, it's but for it's you for, don't throw up. It's for, yeah, it's for constipation. Wait, what? So wait, how did I say it again? You were in relation to feet. Oh, she got the feet of constipation. Right. Well, the feet are so hot, your body dries up. That's true. I would put milk and magnesia on some feet, bro. Going to t- 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 town. Um, but yeah, but there was but the two- girl getting flown out. This is interesting to see because first class <sighs> is filled with a bunch of like business guys who just rack up their points or just balling on wealth. And right. then it's just like very clearly some girl who's like dipped in head to toe um, in like Gucci and then just like so much flex. And you're just like. I want that life, baby girl. You ever seen a dude getting flown out? The dudes get all fancy. I don't want to get flowed out, flewed out. Somebody fly me out. I've never got flewed out for shit. Have you ever flown anybody out? Nah. I haven't either. My buddy does it and it's wild. It's crazy. I'll I'll meet her. I'll be like, oh, where are you from? She's like, Utah. I'm like, you in town visiting? She just looks over at him. I'm like, huh? Who gets the air miles on here? Who gets the points? You know? What type of, but like, that's that's some just just like, that's some like amateur prostitution yeah i mean what else is that it's you get yeah. flown out you about but about she's and you're bop, probably bop, she's bop. gonna get flown out she's not really gonna pay for drinks or anything like that and then if you get flown out you're gonna be here four days from utah what do you think you're gonna be doing when you go to sleep it's, it's an all access pass you know? no yeah it's, you're gonna um, put a golden lotus right in that asshole a lot of golden lotus going on 
It's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it must be cool. If I was a girl and I got flown yes. out, I'm flexing everywhere. But would you do it though? Because there's a there's an expectation when you get when you get flued out. I mean, if guys, I was, we all know it's not fluid. It's just fun to say. Is it not fluid? Flown. <laughs> flown out, guys. It's it's flown. Yeah. Thanks, flown right? out. Oh, don't worry. I'll cut this. <laughs> no, I'm don't getting, cut. <laughs> I'm getting flown out. Flued out. Flued out. Flued out's funnier. I think I'm getting flued out. I'm getting uber pulled out, baby. That is hilarious. That's hilarious. If you fucking uber pull out. a girl out, yeah. If you get bust out, what type of low class everyone involved in that situation are you? What's wrong with that? Huh? You ain't never had a girl come down on a bus to visit you? But yeah, but I didn't pay for it. Oh, you're saying if you're trying to flex, like, if you come fl- through, I got yes. you. And she's like, that's a weird way to spell American Airlines. It just says Greyhound on it. Yeah. I got points, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> My buddy Mario coming to pick you up. <laughs> Can you imagine if you're talking to a girl from like Phoenix, you live in LA, and you just try to greyhound her out? I mean, what? There better be a Maserati at the end of the greyhound. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. That's, I, that's a new level. That's If you're going to fl- fly somebody out, you either got stupid money or you just need to jerk off. Hit that quick J-O. Thank you. Reevaluate your life. Thank you. And See how you're doing. And that's why I always say do not jerk off while on dating apps because you will fucking, you will say no, yes you, to you everything. No, you got to nut first then go that's on That's what I'm saying. You can't, you you got can't different jerk, standards. Yes, you can't jerk off while uh, swiping. And let me tell you something. Your boy is a culprit of that a lot. Or you, you swipe J-O then swipe again. What are, you, what are you saying? I'm saying I swipe while jerking off, which is a horrible well, idea. First of all, huh. great, good for you for multitasking. That's oh, a, oh, dude. You only got two hands. One of them. Look at Bro, one of them. Do you, do you know how good I can type my left hand? It's crazy. I am so good at typing oh, my left hand. Oh, dude. I'm, I'm t- I, have, I have the phone sort of like. Do you, like you jerk up with the phone? No, well, let me work. Motherfucker's a phone jerk. Yo, huh? let me hold on. First of all, I'm Man, you give, I'm I'm motherfucking the Matrix when I jerk off. Okay, I'm Minority Report. Why you dodging your own loads in slow motion, bro? Sometimes. All right. You're in VR. Sometimes. No, this is what I do. I got mad screens up. I got mad screens like I'm like I'm trying to hack into the CSI. I fucking I have the phone. <laughs> I have the phone. I have the phone on like on my chest, holding it with with my right hand. Right. I got the phone, and then. I got the computer out with the porn on it, so I, I have some audio happening, so I can stay hard with that. And then I'm swiping and messaging with my other hand, as so I'm swiping and looking, swiping and looking at porn, swiping and looking at porn. It's a it's a really so interactive. You're, off. You, 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 you're just watching two screens at once. No, 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 no. I got no. I'm jerking off with my right hand. I got the. I'm saying this is the uh-huh. the phone. The phone is here. I'm jerking off. Phone's here, right? Yes. Computer here. Yeah. The only thing free got my left hand. So you holding and swiping with the same hand. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holding, I guess you could do holding, that. swiping, jerking, holding. Hold up. I got all, t- dude. Damn. I'm multitasking. I feel like you know how to drive a stick shift car without even learning. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know how stupid I was as a kid? I, I My first car was a um, stick. And I was so dumb as a kid that like, I remember when I was 16, 17, I had like, you know, a cute girl in the car that I liked or whatever. At the stoplight, I would like, you know, put it in neutral and then like slowly like caress the stick shift because I thought like she would look down and be like, oh, he's trying to fuck. I remember thinking that clearly. Yeah. Ask me how many times it worked. Zero. Anybody with a stick shift in high school had to let people know. Right. Yeah, they had to. Right? I didn't know how to drive the first like two weeks. So I remember the first time I drove stick shift into the into my school. I thought it was so dope. Brand new Celica GTS. I'm ooh fucking hot. And I stalled out five times. Oh yeah. So off like in front of everyone. Everyone's like sick, dude. I'm like <laughs> <laughs> I sold out so many fucking times. Jesus. So embarrassing. Dude, okay. I, and then the first day I had to get my buddy to back the car out of the spot I was in because I kept stalling out in front of everybody. Oh. Yeah, it was very, very embarrassing. Yeah, you got to transfer high schools after that. I yeah, I left. And then if it happened again in a new high school, well, homeschooled. Yeah, <laughs> homeschooled. I mean, Just, any- your mom's like, nope, not even here. You're like, fuck. God, my own teacher, dude. Homeschooling is hilarious to me. You ever talk to a person who's been homeschooled? Yeah, they don't talk. They no. Well, they they're in prison. They're all school shooters. <laughs> I can't. T- <laughs> this is a weird. Get out of the house. You got. It. We'll get friends. You know, yeah, get friends that aren't that's your really sister. What it is, man. It's like you're involuntarily just fucking up your future. Dude, I talked to a girl who was who her whole family. She had like eight kids in her family, and everyone was homeschooled. Well, with eight kids, that's essentially a school. Yeah, but it's your it's your sister. <laughs> who wants to go to prom? Everybody's like, nah. <laughs> All right, uh, she. 
Wait, do homeschool people go to prom? Oh, shit. Who the fuck? Maybe. Hey, mom. She's like, no. What? Come on. <laughs> oh, this is sad all around. It is. It's like, but she she was actually pretty normal. She's actually pretty normal. Um, okay. Well, why didn't you marry her? What happened? Oh, I think I said this. She was a girl. She was a girl on the uh, on the cruise that I was trying to spit game to, and she was like giving me a ton of rhythm up top. And then so she was a because she has no social cues because she's never met another human being in her she life. She had yeah, she had no idea. Well, she was pretty normal, and but she was a girl that I brought up before where I was drinking a bunch, like waiting for her to be done her set. She was a oh, musician, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. she came over to me and we were talking, and then I was like, oh, so like, what are we doing afterwards? She's like, well, I'm actually gonna hang on my bandmates, and I'm like, bitch, I'm wasted right now. It's three in the morning. What do you think? I'm just sitting there by myself for my own goddamn good? Come on. I'm a manatee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a manatee, but with like not as much dick. Yeah, well, just, you know, five but, five of those 15 inches. Uh, huh? okay, you got five of that? Uh, I got six, bro. Uh, uh, well, man, it depends on what day it is. You got nine and a half if you got that goddamn sweater on. Oh, oh goddamn. We talking about centimeters? My shit's packing. Oh, bro. That's that's literally why I say people in Canada got that fucking bow, bow. People in the UK, bow, bow. Oh, right, because they don't they use the magic centimeters. Yeah, they're on that magic system, baby. That's weird to say. That's weird to like how big. Because they, they would say, the, they would say, did they say centimeters? Yeah. Maybe. Damn. Yards, metrics, uh, what, what's meters. The, what's the inches? Centimeters. Would be even they would worse. say centimeters? Well, but they're miles or meters, right? I thought meter was like. No, my, feet. my. Liter. Liters. Liters, is, liters is for volume. Yeah, but what could you imagine you told some girl, you're like, yeah, I got 0.4 of a liter. She's like, I don't know. I can't figure that math In the out. fridge? Uh, but maybe that's what you say to confuse her because she don't even know. Yeah. And then girls she's don't be doing her metrics and shit. By the way, girls don't ask. What size? Girls have never been like, how, how many inches are you? They always go, let me see it. Yeah. But also, women, you know, we can do weird ass angles to make it look like you. First of all, I have really skinny Everybody legs. Everybody can do angles. Yeah. I have really skinny legs. So my dick look. Big <laughs> on camera because I got these skinny ass legs. They don't know how skinny my legs are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. I also put it next to like a golf pencil and I go, that's a full size pencil. <laughs> this is actually the pencil uh, and the Guinness Book of World Records for biggest pencil in the world. <laughs> but don't be confused with the guy. My say, uh, <laughs> Los Angeles Country Club on the side, but it ain't. It ain't. It ain't. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. God. That's, uh, School kids I, I, do go to prom. With who? Uh, other homeschool kids. There's organizations, usually with like religi- religious conservative organizations oh put on my promise God. for homeschool kids. That shit's sad. That shit is called Winter Losers. <laughs> There's just 14 people there. 10 of them are staff, <laughs> aka the parents. Uh, nine of them are all cousins. Are, like, That's making so a- weird. It's so weird, man. God damn. Don't do just that shit. Just a bunch of fucking... Just a bunch of weirdos eating. I feel like, like to be homeschooled, you either had to be like like a super introverted, like weird kid, or you had to be like the most badass kid ever. Because sometimes kids would start out of high school and they're like, "Oh yeah, Skyler, he's homeschooled now." And for whatever reason, I just picture him doing like push-ups for each equation. They're like, well, "Spell tomato," and he's like, "T O M heroin." What heroin? And he just keeps doing push-ups. They're not in prison, but home Maybe, school, a but when, bit. The, when the when the tough kids go homeschool, it sounds like it though. I you was had, homeschooled. You were homeschooled. I mean, I wasn't. I did independent study, so I was. So like, you were homeschooled. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, but, but my mom wasn't dude, my teacher. That's you know a what I mean? calligraphy ass way of saying. Oh, homeschooled. my friend did independent studies. It's just like you yeah, like you once go, a week. Yeah, go you go there. once a week. You meet with the teacher. You get a like a packet of work to do, and then you go home and do drugs. <laughs> drugs. I was gonna say the people I know that did uh, independent studies. That was the syllabus. Yeah. Hold on. So I'm I'm so confused, Gabriel. So you did you did independence. So you were in high school. I was in regular high school for a year, and then I was like, I don't want to be here every day, and so I moved to independent study, where it was like I would just go once a week to a different school, and like get a packet of work to do. A different school every week? No, 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 the same oh, school, just okay. a different school. But I would I would go once a week, meet with like a, a teacher, and they would be like, all right, this is. So I would choose which classes I would taking. They would give me like packets for each of the classes. Like here's a history packet, a math packet, a you know. English How do you packet. learn? Yeah, who who's teaches the you? Uh, I mean, you kind of like, you have reading that you have to do and then the packets kind of like walk you through lessons. And then what you're supposed to do is go once a week and like talk to the teacher about the shit that you were reading, basically. So basically the That's school like, system was failing you because yeah. you weren't doing any of this. Yeah. I mean, I was, I was doing it. I don't remember. It's like bagging your own it, groceries though, if you think about it. This yeah. is very hands-on. 
it was cool too. I ended up graduating early because it was like you can go through that shit super fast if you don't have to be at the same like if you don't have to like be with, at the same level with other people. That like, yeah, it's pretty easy when no one's uh, giving you a test. No, you had to take tests. What at home with the book? Actually, I don't remember. No, maybe I took tests there. True. <laughs> it's really easy to do well because there's only one. You're like I finished half my class. Also, it's just one person. <laughs> I did get student of the month one time. <laughs> Well, guess who? How did you not you get and the every gopher month? in the corner? Yeah, I think I think it was against me and like the other kids that my one teacher would meet with. So like me and maybe ten other kids. But I was real proud. Did you flex? Yeah, well, yeah, I flex. Yeah, but you so dumbass nine other kids. So how did you go to winter formal? The prom, whatever the fuck. Did you go? I went my well, I was back and forth from independent study to regular high school. So I went to my I think I went to my junior God, prom. God, dude, your parents were so proud. <laughs> oh come on, man! <laughs> you said, you said, you, Trevor, you said, come on. That sounded sad. That sounded sarcastic. I, it was very sarcastic. But he's he has a great relationship with his family now. Look at him; he's killing his fucking life. I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't say it if his fucking parents hated him. Right now, he has a good relationship with his family. Please tell me you have a good relationship <laughs> yeah, with your family. Yeah, All right, good. cool, cool. See, we're good. Why are you trying to make me feel like shit? <laughs> <laughs> this game's the last guy. I love game. Dude, that was a little preview for the interview you were going to do in, in 300 patrons. Yeah, that interview is wild. Dude, Gabriel has so much shit that's just fucking crazy. It really is. It might be like a three-hour interview. Like, I think six hours. We're going to do a, we're gonna do a whole two like, Joe Rogans. Yeah, we're going to hit up Joe Rogan. It should be like, yo, the, the boy is yours. Mm. Gabe, how big is your dick? <laughs> uh, it's like I'm in between a polar bear and a manatee. So. Talk. Damn. What? That's no. heat. I could, I could see that. I could see Gabe. That's no, totally not true. Cause Gabriel, cause Gabriel is not like a like a tall Jack dude, but like I yeah, could. But tall Jack dudes are Jack because they got a small dick. I don't think so, dude. I, I feel play football when I was a freshman. These motherfuckers walk around with a hard oh, sinos para que no protos. We got that manatee hog. No, who had the big manatees? Manatees. No, no, no. Manatees. Manatees. You are manatees. right. 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 Who's? Can you look up uh, what animals got the longest? Yeah. <laughs> What, what do you think? What's your guess? Oh, that's good. Um, my guess. I animal, the... Maybe. Oh, I, I want to say like a giraffe. Well, oh, yeah, I want to say a I giraffe, like an elephant, because that would like make more you sense. Know? It's got to touch the ground. You ever think a giraffe touch. ever fuck with his neck? Because that shit. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> well, the female giraffe could take that shit down the neck. <laughs> and no, I mean, or a male giraffe, too. Whatever way you go in that little zoo out there, bro, they got that neck. Imagine. Imagine, imagine an animal getting. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. Imagine an animal getting topped off by a giraffe, and then the giraffe, who can now speak English for this scenario, is like, "Damn, I felt that shit in the back of my neck." Would you not be geeked up? <laughs> oh my god! I'm like, oh, hold up! It's gotta bro. be a manatee. I mean, anytime you get topped off, you get a little bit of dumb skin, and you could hear the gag, and you're like, "But it ain't even all the way in here." How the fuck? You, you, ever, you ever have a girl? Y'all got mashed potatoes in your mouth? What? You you said, is, is it in the back already? <laughs> y'all be chewing on a Salisbury steak back there? What, what y'all got going? Y'all be eating yeah. on a McMuffin? Yo, you ever have a girl take it and you're like, how? How is it so easy? What? Like, she takes like the whole thing in her mouth. Like, quick, it's different. Just like, whole, whole, and just like, whole, swallows it whole. Like, what type that of, shit. what type of snake behavior is this? <laughs> well, what it does is it just blows past, what's the little things, the tonsils? La larynx. What's the thing that hangs down? Tonsil? Tonsils. Yeah, it just beats the shit out of tonsils, like, move, bitch. Well, you ought to be like, you got, I, sometimes I just, I, I tap the head and I go, you have tonsils or no? <laughs> you got, you got tonsils or no? <laughs> just, it's just like one whole, like, huh. It's just like the, the first like thing and then but, the whole like, and you're God like, damn. where, how? I'll tell you what. i tell you what. I'll be impressed as shit. Me too. I'll be, like, I'll be like, yeah, we've been to the moon. That's cool and all, but like, <laughs> we got electric cars, I guess. But you ever seen somebody, wah, 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 wah? It's always a wah, wah. It's always two. It's always the first, huh, and then, huh. The I'm, second one is like, a dog. I, I'll get out of checkbook okay? right away. I'll be like, what, 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 I know we dating and all, but like, yeah. what, how much you need? Every single time I just call my father, I go, God damn. <laughs> Oh fuck! So biggest, uh, biggest animal dick is a blue whale. That oh, makes sense. that yeah. makes. But here's sense. what's crazy: it's the size of like the, a life jacket. The the animal with the craziest junk to body ratio. Word word is I think it's a glass, isn't it? barnacle. You know the thing Yo. you scrape off of a boat. A barnacle. Barnacle's got that okay. heat. Yeah, a they're barnacle. A barnacle's, barnacle's dick got that barnacle. Can be up to fifty times the length of its body. 
What? Wait, where so, does it go? Hold on, our sea urchins is covered with dicks. You know, maybe they're just that's it, but it's all dicks. No, well, but but a heart. but a barnacles on a where, where on do a barnacles whale? store the penis? That's what I'm saying. Is it like an Inspector Gadget where like at night, Toy Story bops out fifty times? Can you imagine if your dick was fifty times the size of you? What do you mean imagine? You got a fifty times? No. Yeah. Forty five. Good job. All right. Yeah, so the barnacle's dick reaches out of its shell and transfers its sperm to a female neighbor. Can you imagine How? if you're like in it's your, airdrop? Dog, can, you, like, can you imagine if you're in your own if you're in your own apartment fucking someone you you're in four B, you're fucking someone in four C? Bro. Just from your bed, I'm tired. Whatever drink, and you just it goes fucking what? That's just gorgeous. That's impressive. No wonder they just lock down on a boat. They ain't gotta go anywhere. They can just fuck the neighbor. Bro, they can fuck right there. That's insane. That's crazy. Good, you I, knocking on the door. Who is it? That's another dick. God damn it, Jeremy. Put your goddamn dick away. All right, all right, okay. I just want to invite you to prom. How, how do people measure a barnacle dick? How do, you know? Yeah, what type of weird ass job? You went, to school, you went to college for so long and you're measuring barnacle dicks? That's your stoked. job? Yeah. If I found that out and I was a scientist, I'd be like, uh, I think I got something here. Who named animals? <laughs> Who, who who named an animal? Who looked at... I mean, this is sort of a bit... Who who looked at a sea lion and was like, that's a sea lion? Who looked at a whale and was like, that's a whale? Is it all like... Is it all like Ronald Wales? Like, that's a whale? I don't know. And Stephen Sea Lion? That's a sea lion? I mean, who named anything? That's what I'm saying. Who named a chair a chair? Who named a raspberry a raspberry? Me. Did you name a raspberry? I did. Do you get money for that every single time? You know what Royalty. I mean? Royalty. Well, it's what the same saying. shit when people name stars. I'm like, somebody is just racking off dough. Like, just being like, yeah, that shit up there, that's yours. And then they sell the same star to 5,000 other people. What, but it's a genius idea. It's you, amazing. You know who came up with that? A Jew. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, my people, dog. Yeah. Scooby. Uh, it's just so funny to be like, when does that ever come into play? You know how you're saying like, oh, a giraffe painting that painting. It's the same context of a flex where you're like, oh, yeah, that star. Yeah, right over there. You see it? You see, yeah, that's me. That's all me. She's like, I'm fucking. Bro, also, you don't need the certificates to tell her that. All you do is just point to one and be like, that's mine. Also, how sad is your life where your wingman is a fucking flaming ball of gas in you the sky? You independent study fuck. <laughs> I may be homeless, but goddamn, look at that motherfucker. Right. Ah. Uh. Was getting into some questions? Yeah. Let's do it, bro. Kiki, and you um, love me. Are you riding? Go God buy our God goddamn merch. Because it's out now. Like it's out now. But the boot beat. Bo- and for real, guys, uh, get it quickly because the Patreon shit, it literally, I'm not shitting you. We put up this, we put up the store at 8.30 and it sold out at like a, um, like 12. It's like three hours it all sold out. Yeah. So also, get it quickly. Yeah. I mean, just a quick little flex for the Patreon members. They get half off. If you sign up for the tier ten dollars and up, but we also have a five dollar tier that gets you a free video per week, and they get the they get the merch drop sooner too. So they get merch drop and they know, get motherfucking. Uh, think about the last time you spent five dollars on some dumb shit and been like, I could have got next episode per week and that new merch drop early. Oh, what was the last dumb five dollars you spent? I mean today. <laughs> Like today. Oh yeah. Every time I go into Seven Eleven, I spend seven dollars oh, every, yeah. every single time. time. Yep. A five-hour energy, a banana, and a granola bar. Seven. You know how long that lasts? 45 minutes. And you're like, I need more. 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 I'm already tired. And I just took the five-hour energy. This five-hour energy shit is like, is is getting, I'm like, I'm so used to it. You need hours. caffeine pills. Strawberry watermelon. Who the fuck you think you are? Oh, man. Beyonce? Beyonce? I'm Donatello. Who's that? Ninja Turtle. All right. What? <laughs> Where are we? I All don't right. know. We got a sock talk question. Uh, this comes from underscore Grant Bailey. Who says Grant Bailey? Oh, Real like talk. Player. Did you or did you know any of anybody who jerked off in the school bathroom? Yeah. Me, motherfucker. So many times. Yeah, I didn't, but I know people that did. You did not? No. You're a loser, dude. <laughs> what? I was homeschooled, bro. <laughs> um. Nah. Yeah, dude. The first time I ever did it, I was uh, in detention, <laughs> and my buddy and I got. Well, that high. makes sense. Yeah, my buddy and I got high as shit because we're dumb as fuck and. When I get high, I get really horny. That high nut be something different. Oh my god! That high nut is what is that? It's like a goddamn. You ever eat a cinnabon when you're high? Probably. That's what it feels like when you but coming come. out your dick. Does that make sense? That's what cinnabon icing is made of. It's purely stoned uh, bakers in the back. Oh my god! When was the last time you had a cinnabon? I can't. Well, now. 
But when you you never had a cinema in your no, whole I life? Had one. Yeah, oh yeah, I don't know. They're just uh, the funny part is, is they're always in malls, and it's like the middle of the day. It's like Saturday, three p.m. Somebody's like, I want a goddamn cinema. Oh my god, I love that'll that. just put you down. It, I mean, your your days. It's just deep fried Xanax in a sense. Yeah, I mean, you, you it's eat just it. Wild that like people just like it's just like you know when you work places that you get employee benefits. Like if you work at a cinema, your benefit is just more cinnabons. That's it. Which is great, but you're also like. How many fucking days in a row can you go where you're like, yeah, you know, cinnamon for lunch. Oh, can you imagine being hung over as fucking and working at a cinnamon or like a bath and body works? You got to walk in that shit. Ugh. Dude, I, I used to, I worked at a pizza place one time and I, I shit you not. It's exactly what you said. I shit you not. After me working there, I had so much pizza Yeah. that for, I mean, dude, I think, I don't think I had a slice of pizza for like a year. Yeah. So I was like, it's vile to me. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, would, to answer your question, me. I jerked off in the in the stall. I mean, not a ton, but I would say maybe three times in high school. It's not a ton. You, but you knew people who did. Probably. How did you? How did you know? Did they people finish? People then know. they come in, they dap you up, and they're like, "Guess what I do with that hand?" And no. you go, "Yeah, you go. I know it. I, it's, you, my whole my hand smells like semen." <laughs> yeah, exactly. Semen. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Semen. Semen. Who named semen? What? Yeah, see. Who named that? Semen. A pirate, because he's a sea man. Comedy. Ah. Hold up. All right, let's do another one. This comes from CJ Persley. Music, okay. Music during sex or no? No. Nah, I don't like it. I don't like it either because it puts me in the mood of the song. You, If you put like some boys to men on, I'll fall in love with a bitch. And I just that met her at the true. club 14 minutes that ago. And I'm true. like, I think we're in love now. I just started thinking about time. I'll be like, okay. Ooh, that, yep. be, you know, if it's like two songs in, I'm already starting to feel that. I'm starting to feel that bottle rocket pop off. If I'm feeling that Cinnabon, about a Cinnahun. Uh, <laughs> what, what like, what you, I'm only two, two fucking Lil Pump songs in. That's fucking what, 34 seconds? At most. Lil Pump don't give a fuck. Lil Pump just leaves the <laughs> studio and the producer's like, uh, Lil like, Pump is not We need a done. second verse. He's like, just re-loop it, but like put it in Spanish and then like curse him. Like, yeah, right, it's a hit. Just go like this a bunch. And that's good. We're good. Yeah, I don't like it. it. It just puts too much time on. And like you said, that's smart. But like, if some party next door comes on, you're like, well, let's say we having a baby. It really does, man. It's it's the same thing as like when you watch a movie and you want to like do what's in the movie. Like that's what happens to me when I'm listening like to like you know, Boys to Man or fucking or like you know, Party Next Door or whatever. It really does. It like makes the the sex like more sensual. Like I'm in like the moment of like listening to Khaled or whatever. And I'm just fucking in it. Oh, they said DJ Khaled. No, like, no, no. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be fucking. That how too. you pronounce his name? Khalid? Is that Khalid? Say? Khalid? Khalid? Yeah, I think yeah. So. Um, but yeah, I, I don't. Yeah. So you could, you could fuck to like these boots are made for walking, but that's it's a rain. Probably it. Yeah. Cause Ooh, feet. Cause feet. I got it. My yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. You talking about the Golden Lotus? Yeah, the Golden Lotus. Uh, Guys, I need everyone to address me as the Golden Lotus now. <laughs> that's what it is on my phone, actually. Damn, squirrels always just be looking for that nut. If you think about it. So you're saying that we just squirrels? <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're saying, Trev? Wait, that's they, crazy. We're squirrels. Squirrels. Uh, squirrels be horny as fuck. Their tails are always erect. Is that does that mean they're horny? It's gotta mean. It's Do like, squirrels have penises or their tails have penis? I don't know, but I think their tails are like you know when you get mail, they, they put the thing up. I think that's like <laughs> them being like, "You got mail," and then be like, "It's up." Like Yo, I'm ready to fuck. What's more depressing than going to your mailbox expecting mail and there's no mail? You feel, I feel like a loser when I go oh, to my- bro. That, that could be a TV show on its own. Yeah. Just people just going, <sighs> okay, good. You, act, you expecting a check? Or you ever get such bullshit mail, you just leave it in there and close it? Of course, all It'll the time. Be like all these coupons from like Ralph's. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. Who the I shut fuck? it back. Listen. Which also, point of view from the Ralph's coupons, like, oh man, come on, bro. Get me out of here. Yeah, it's, it's hot in here, dude. <laughs> It's so hot. Um, who uses coupons? Zero people. Stop sending them to me. No. It, literally, if there was a coupon that said buy one, get one free chickens, I wouldn't use it. No. Who the fuck? Well, it's like when you see somebody pull out coupons at, at a grocery store, you're furious. You're lying like, oh, this motherfucker wants to save 32 cents I will, on celery. Get I'll, the fuck out of here. I will give you 32 cents. Yep. I will flamethrow you. I swear to God. That's the initial a, reaction. I'm like, yep. no. I, don't don't cut all, cut all out nicely. Dude. Oh, when we were in OKC, remember where I was getting the fiber energy at the, the fucking gas station? Oh, there wow. was a dude in front of me that didn't know how to use this, the, the chip thing. And I, I'm not shitting you. He was there for a good two minutes trying to figure out. And I was almost like, I will buy everything that you have if I can go first. Oh, yeah. It would just move. 
yeah. move. He's like, I, I can't figure this out. Goddamn robot on shit. Won't well, even yeah. take my goddamn chip. Uh, blah, 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 no, blah, he's blah, blah. based on like technology. I was like, sir, this is this didn't start today. This it did not start. This yeah. has been out. He just takes his banjo out, starts playing. <laughs> Bitch, move. <laughs> just such a funny visual. <laughs> So you have to enter the card. Well, no. It still doesn't work. All right. Hold on. They don't make this work. You don't understand. It made my wife work. Shut up, dude. You don't have a wife. It's a fucking blow up doll. It's a ferret. It's a bunch of bees. You're trying to fuck a bunch of bees, sir. Honeycomb, though. Oh, yo. Have you ever had just straight honeycomb cereal? Yeah. I put my dick in the hole. <laughs> okay. 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 What's Moving next? On. All right. Let's do a secret talk. Okay. This is an anonymous listener who says, I once jacked off using my grandma's iPad to watch porn. Hmm. All right. Just as long as it's not Golden Girls, we're good. <laughs> it's a little weird. It's a little weird. It's a little weird. Because you know, because grandmas have a certain stench. Not a stench. That sounds aggressive. Uh, yeah. A certain smell. So you know for sure that the that the thing it smells like Bengay and lavender. I think it's more. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the whole the iPod. Uh, yeah. You can smell I, your grandma. I think the awkward part would be like the next morning you like walk out and she's just on there like playing Scrabble with her like best friend. She's like, "Hey, honey, could you show me how to the home button's not working? <laughs> it's stuck. Could you show me how to? Maybe it's a new upgrade. What? No, there's a little something in there. It's probably just some cinnamon. Let me lick it out, Grandma. Oh, no. And then she's like, you know what? Let me just go to Safari. Yeah! <laughs> I wanted to order something from the store. What was that place called? Pandora's Box? Pan? No, what was it? Uh, Started with a B. I was. I just wanted to browse. B R A. No. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, it's it's. I think more so that thing that you brought up where like you walk into the room and she's like with her friends and she's playing like bridge on the thing. Uh, you know what I mean? And then you're like, you feel, yeah, ugh, feel it. Ugh. you know, and the filth that you used. What is that? Is, is that a natural thing that hold the shame that you feel like, that's a biological response after you come. So it's like, Doug, what is that? Like, what am I doing? But like, why, why, why are we set up like that? Why are our bodies set up like that? Why do manatees got the biggest dicks, you know? You know what? I'm a barnacle. <laughs> <laughs> Barnacles got it locked down, bro. They, they're literally locked down or whatever they're at. And they're like, I'm staying here. They don't have it. You honestly, They're like bro, protesters with big dicks. You know, bar- bar- <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going anywhere. Y'all got to chisel me off. I'll fight you with my dick. You know what's funny about barnacles? They're always working. Take a, take a day off. Hold on. Okay. You didn't watch uh, Spongebob growing up. No. You, you bring did. up Spongebob there was, so fucking much, dude. Because that's my childhood. Okay. And anybody listening, also their childhood. My bad. Inevitable but there there, there, there was two like superheroes, and there was Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. The Barnacle Boy just got that fucking <gasps> heat. He got that fucking bow bow. He got that 50 times cock. That was his power? 50 times? which one was, was Barnacle Boy the one with the, one of the face? Dude. I'm a, I'm a type of barnacle boy, I don't and think I hope anyone's porn doesn't really, show up. I don't think anyone's really appreciating what 50 times. First of all, how the fuck do you spell barnacle? Buddy, you're asking oh. the wrong person. Wait, is barnacle the boy, boy the one with the big nose? Yeah, bro. Is okay. that his? Barnacle boy, look at that nose, bro. Barnacle boy, look at that nose. Bro, that's a cock. I can see the balls. Wow. Barnacle boy Dude, is. His, look, his eyes are the balls, and his nose is the dick. Wow. Bro, we just found out some shit that's going to blow people's minds on Twitter. Be like, childhood ruin. Whoa. Dude, who? Barnacle Boy. Look at, bro, he's fucking, dude, look at the size of his nose. It's because the, the creators of SpongeBob knew that Barnacles had that 50 times penis. And they just gave him, there's no reason that they need to give a superhero tiny ass legs like that, but make his nose pack in fucking heat. Also, why 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 is his arm so small? Usually, if they draw a superhero, his arms are jacked and his legs are skinny. Bro, I mean, he looked like half the people we met in Oklahoma City right there. He got oh, one my. tooth and his nose is dude. That's the guy. That's the guy that was in front of me at the gas station. Bro, Barnacle Boy for sure got a fucking pipe. I don't. What did he do? What what, what did he? What, what Lay did he, pipe, bro. Fam. But Mermaid Man built like a manatee. Oh my god! Mermaid Man, Mermaid Man hasn't seen his had not seen his penis in eleven or twelve. Mermaid years. Man built like every guy who goes to IHOP and complains about the service. He built like a kiwi. Can't Remember you see that? Remember you know what a kiwi is? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, you learn. You I live did. And you learn. So I looked at a picture after we talked about it. On well, the, first on of all, Mermaid Man got a bra. Let me see. 
Yeah, I mean, why is he covering his tits? He's had a shirt on. Yeah. Is his nipples exposed? I don't know, but he's wearing slippers. Let me see. This guy, this guy's not fighting shit. Coronavirus could take this guy out with one. What is on his sneeze. face? It's a uh, uh, coronavirus mask. Yeah. Uh, okay. No, it's a starfish. What type of superhero does have a starfish? He just on his smelled face? the inside of a starfish all day. He's sucking a starfish dick with his nose. <laughs> Damn, that sucks. <laughs> Well, that's a good way to end it up. All right. <laughs> yeah. Guys. I think so. Get the merch. See me in Tampa, March 24th. One show. Dude. That's, everybody's like, come to Florida. Look, I'm trying to do a Florida tour, but for now, I'm just dabbling in Florida. See how much Tampa I can handle. I heard they got strip clubs out there. March 24th. Guys. Pull up with a barnacle in your mouth. Oh, oh, first week of April. I think it's April 3rd and 4th, I think. I'm going to be in Lincoln, Nebraska. Come out. The show's going to be a bananas. Guys, also get the motherfucking merch. Get also, that goddamn merch. Hold up. Also, guys, we, we love you, man. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Go on iTunes, rate, and review. It really motherfucking helps us motherfucking out. Uh, guys, we love you. Bye.